Make sure you hit that bell for more Bills news. So we had a lot of people in Q&A um, mention the three-team trade that we saw. Um, Kenny. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny was one of them. Um, asking about the three-team three three trade between the Eagles, the Jags, and the Bills. Um, so I'm going to be as objective about this as I can, right? Because my struggle with this, and just to outline the trade, we saw this come out. Again, this is sort of like a dream scenario. I'm not sure if there were actually people that were talking about this, but it was the Bills get Leonard Fournette, the Eagles get McCoy, and um, uh, and the Jags get Foles. Okay? Now, a couple things at play here. One, Nick Foles is declining his option. Nick Foles has a player option. Mm -hmm. He's declining that. So in order for him to be traded, he has to be franchise tag. Yes. Okay. So that's one thing. You got to have that happen. Foles has to be franchise tag. Can't be a free agent because obviously the trade wouldn't work then. You got to franchise tag him. All right. So when you franchise tag a player, that sets his price tag. So that's how the Eagles would have to trade him as franchise tag him. The Eagles would be acquiring a 31 year old LaShawn McCoy. The Bills would be acquiring a 26 year old Leonard Fournette. Here's the thing that gets me a little bit, right? Okay. I don't see a winner in this deal. I don't see how anybody gets better. And and people will say, well, you is Fournette better than McCoy? I think that's debatable. Because Fournette is a complete flame-out candidate. He flamed out after his first 10 games his rookie season. He, he, was, uh, clear, he was clearly not a great running back last season. He didn't want no smoke in that tunnel for yeah, the awesome. Yeah, Bree. Bree 88. Bree, he, he didn't want no smoke in that tunnel. He didn't want no smoke. Here's the thing that gets me about it. Yeah. And this is the thing that we talked to you guys about, I think, uh, maybe a week or two ago, talking about the no, no limit hold'em and what happens mm -hmm. with it. this is this is draft season. This is the crazy stuff that just gets floated out to anybody. Right. Yeah. Um, Jaguars are currently over the cap, mm -hmm. so if the Eagles were to tag Foles, which they have to, to trade them to the Jaguars, the Jaguars can't afford them. Yeah, it's twenty plus mil. Because. They have a $20 million quarterback already on the roster mm -hmm. that they extended in Blake Bortles, which mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. That's one. Two, the Eagles, like you said, be acquiring a 31-year-old LaShawn McCoy. How does he improve that team? Right. You already have Sproles there who's probably going to retire. Yep. But that's the kind of back that McCoy has to transition into to play on the Eagles now. Right. All right, and that's not going to help them. Their 3 or $4 million uh, under the cap. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, these teams have draft classes already to take care of as well. So they have to take on another $6 million running back? Yeah, the money's like, not really make there. Any sense. Yeah, the money's not really there for Philadelphia. As far as the Bills go, you want to bring a guy into the Buffalo Bills organization that got in a fight with a Bills player at one Bills drive, as you just as you stated in the comments. Yeah. I, none of it makes sense to me. Yeah, this is this is a fantasy football deal to me. You know, it's, it's a fantasy football deal of let's see what we can do. Each team, oh, McCoy, the Eagles wanted McCoy last year, so they'll probably still want him. The Jags want to get rid of Fournette because he's a problem. Uh, you know, the Jags need a quarterback, so, oh, hey, I got an idea. Let's float this three-team trade. To me, it, it's just not very – you can look at it and say, yeah, all those pieces could move together, but there's a lot of other variables that are out there that are going to prohibit that deal from happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, one is – I think the Eagles like Foles too much to trade him to the Jaguars. Um, <laughs> two um, is that, you know, I don't really see the Eagles being interested in giving up because um, they're essentially trading Foles for McCoy, right? I don't think they see that as enough long-term gain for them. No. They're in salary cap trouble, so they need to acquire young talent. They they would move. They'd prefer to move them for draft picks. They're not going to move them for a yes, player. They, they prefer would. to move... Foles for draft picks because it helps them in, in the long scope. Where does Foles go? I don't know, man. That's a tough. I mean, I can't. I can't speculate where he would go because who's going to take on a twenty million dollar quarterback right now? Twenty one, yeah. twenty two. Is that what his number is? Would be yeah, it's right around the tag? There. Yeah. So it's right around there. You have to pick him up in the scope of can we extend him long term? Yeah. Could you? I don't know. Who's willing to take that uh, risk? Well, and you saw what happened the last time Foles got traded out of Philadelphia, right? He went to he went to Kansas City, and uh, it was a disaster. I thought it was to St. Louis. Oh, it was St. Louis. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was St. Louis. It was so a disaster. you went to St. Louis. It was so bad that they moved to L.A. <laughs> it's not what happened. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
But the fact remains that this deal, I just, it's not a deal that has a lot of teeth because there's not enough circumstances surrounding it. Does Fournette immediately improve your running back room? I don't think so. I, I'm not a big fan of Fournette, though. Like, you does, have Ivory. They run the same way. Plus you could, Fournette. Or you could get Ingram. Fournette, yeah, Ingram. Or you could get Ingram. Fournette got ran into the ground at LSU. Yeah. Like, there's a reason he was a very early flame-out candidate his rookie season. And we talk about this all the time with the rookies. They come in. They're not used to playing 16 weeks. They're used to playing 12 to 13 weeks. Yeah. So, near the end of the year, these guys happen to wear down. Right. Because it's not... Well, it happens even more now because the NCAA says they can only work 20 hours. They can only practice 20 hours a week. Yeah. So, I mean, you see guys flame out earlier and earlier now because they just don't have they don't have the time in. It's not, hey, we beat Louisiana Tech and I got to go to class on Monday. It's, yeah. hey, we lost to... Uh, we lost to Cleveland, and we got to go watch film on Monday. Yeah, and then it's, very to, yeah. it's very different. Very, very different. Emotionally, physically, and mentally exhausting. Yeah, it's totally exhausting. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, do I like Fournette style? Yeah, but you have yeah. Ivory for another year. Mm-hmm. They, they run the same way. Was Fournette better than Ivory? I think he's better than Ivory. There must be something going on for a team that drafted him where they did to want it, to want it part ways. Well, they didn't have a GM change. No. And they didn't have... A coaching change. N- no. So there's something going on that makes him too much a variable for me. That we don't... You know, yeah. There's, there's something going there's gotta on. There's got to be something we don't know. Yeah. Because they're losing Yeldon. Mm-hmm. Yeldon's a free agent. Yeah. And you want to trade your starter? Right. That's, that's what I mean. That's this when is, you hang on to the starter. Yeah. This is all smoke, no fire to me. Yeah. It's all smoke, no fire. So that's where we sit on that deal. Um, I'd love to be, you know. So I think we're a little more adamant than we usually well, are. Well, I mean, that's true. We normally like to talk about the positives and negatives, but this one I just don't see any viability in, you know. I, I, I just don't buy it. Is it something that would be a dream scenario? I mean, you're going to trade a 31 LaShawn McCoy for a 26-year-old Leonard Fournette. I mean, I don't know a team that wouldn't do that, but yeah. there's something else going on here. Plus, um, you have to contend with his, I think you get two more years. Mm-hmm. You gotta contend with that, and see if you can trade, uh, sign him, yeah, resign him. Again, there's a couple things. I, I normally we talk about all options and kind of leave it for you guys to decide. This one, I just don't. This, I just don't see this one.